time for another everyday getaway and here we are in pigeon forge tennessee and we're out to lunch at the old mill restaurant okay this restaurant has come highly recommended to us so we're going to give it a try and we've been checking out the menu breakfast lunch and dinner we decided on lunch and we think we know what we're going to have well so. and i'm looking forward to the corn fritters we hear they're yummy so there we go let's give it a try come on along and we'll check out the old mill restaurant To get to the Old Mill restaurant, we're turning off of the main parkway onto Old Mill Avenue, and that takes us down into the Old Mill District. By the way, Old Mill Avenue is stoplight seven off the parkway. To enter into the Old Mill District. And there's the Old Mill restaurant with the Old Mill. The Old Mill restaurant is celebrating its 30th year of hot biscuits, homemade pecan pie, fried chicken, and many happy customers who have become part of the Old Mill family. Today, the Old Mill is one of the oldest continually operating grits mills in the country and one of the most photographed mills in America. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Breakfast is served from 8 to 11 daily. A little glimpse of what we got. Items hot off the griddle omelets. We've got some classic breakfasts and uh, yummies for the kids. Lunch is served from 11 to 4. This is the deal that we got. We purchased um, a meat and it comes with a cup of that corn chowder, corn fritters, homemade mashed potatoes, green beans, and you have lots and lots of choices. Uh, they do have some options, uh, catfish and, and shrimps, if you'd like something from the water, burgers, sandwiches. They've got a little bit on the lighter side here and some veggies and honestly, even a vegetable plate I think would be delicious here. I will say these homemade desserts, that chocolate cake, cake looked, oh my goodness, so delicious. Didn't have it, didn't have room, but it looked yummy. All right, and the dinner menu. We'll just zip down through that. Dinner is served from 4 until close. I think it's open a little bit later on Friday and Saturday nights. I think some nights closes at 8.30 and maybe Fridays and Saturdays open till 9. We came in and it's lunchtime, but they seated us right away. We didn't have to wait at all. I was kind of surprised from the looks of the parking lot, but we came right in and they've already gotten us uh, some tea and a water and we're ready to try some fried chicken. I think's what Doug's getting and I'm getting some chicken pot pie. Look at these little guys, they're cute. Okay, so the food here is served family style. Uh, when you first order, uh, everybody gets corn chowder and corn fritters and a biscuit. And we think this butter is maple, maple butter. butter. Okay, Tam, we'll go ahead and try that corn chowder and tell me what you think about it. All right. It's good and hot. It's got a little bit of a hint of smokiness to it. Um, a lot of different vegetables in it. It's really good. All right, what do you think, Doug, about hey, this? Hey, the soup is really good. It has really good flavor. It's a little spiciness maybe in there um, to me, but it has excellent flavor. And I do know you can buy this in the store and you can take yourself some home too if you want it. 
but it really is hot and when you get soup out somewhere I don't care for it when you get soup and it's lukewarm even I like it hot and that's what this is delicious uh, the corn fritter as you can see I see it has some corn nice corn pieces in there real fluffy on the inside nice and crisp on the outside let me get a little butter on here give it a taste That is a good corn fritter. I really like that. Oh, real maple-y. I really like that. The butter's that nice maple flavor to it. That's really good. Okay, before you taste the bread, what do you think about the corn fritter? I absolutely love it. It's it's real light and fluffy on the inside. Um, and it's the, the maple butter is delicious, but I haven't tried the bread yet, so I'll try this roll with the honey butter. Or the maple butter. It's good also. This is delicious so far. The biscuit was fluffy, very buttery, and it's yummy. I almost like the biscuit better with uh, just plain, but the, the fritters, oh my goodness, they are so delicious, and that maple butter on them, we really love that. Okay, I got the fried chicken, uh, mashed potatoes, and green beans, and it comes with brown gravy. And I got chicken pot pie, and it also comes with mashed potatoes and green beans. I think you probably can switch out the sides, but these sounded good to us, so that's what we're going with. And this pot pie, look at this crust, yum. Okay, I see you cut into your chicken pot pie there. And the it steam is, is just rolling out of it. <laughs> yes, it is. It's so hot, but it's filled with all kinds of vegetables, big hunks of chicken. The sauce is buttery, nice and hot, flavorful. I don't think I need to add the any. The crust looks really good. The crust, absolutely flaky and delicious. Hey, try some of those mashed potatoes there. Um, definitely homemade. This is uh, very good and creamy mashed potatoes. That brown gravy is rich and deep. And we'll throw back a green bean while we're at it. Cooked nice and well. Definitely some southern green beans there. All right, tell us about that chicken. Okay, first of all, this comes with two huge pieces of chicken. Nice and crispy on the outside. Look at that, nice and juicy on the inside. Oh, that's got really good flavor to it. It is nice and juicy on the inside. Okay, shout out to the Virginia Fun Seekers. I don't think Tammy's going to get the Clean Plate Award here, but she'll take it with her, finish it up later. Just, what, are your, what are your some of your thoughts? Everything I have had has been absolutely delicious. The mashed potatoes, probably some of the best mashed potatoes I've ever had. The chicken pot pie, absolutely delicious. It is still hot and I'm almost done but flaky crust on the outside. That chicken is so tender and all the vegetables, green beans delicious. And I'm still thinking about these fritters and soup. Absolutely delicious. Oh, maybe we should have had some dessert. The total cost of our bill before we tipped was $41.05. That's for the two meals and my tea. Okay, I do want to say there's a pretty good sized ramp that goes up to the restaurant, but they do have an elevator that will take you if you want to take the elevator up to the restaurant make it a lot easier. And I do think that that comes right out by the cashier. It so does, I think. yeah, right by the cashier. Also, our server and the wait staff, everybody that helped us out in any way, um, they were all so wonderful, so pleasant. They were efficient. Um, everything from my tea glass did not get empty to bringing the food to checking on us. Every person down through checking out with the cashier, they were all so polite. So thumbs up on staff and uh, all of those of you that work here at the Old Mill restaurant.
We are going to stop at the mill, which is right next door. There's a general store and mill, so we're going to make sure we go there. We hear that soup, that they have that, and uh, I'm sure you can get uh, some of the other yummy treats, including some grits. We'll see what we find. Okay, so this is the house. I'll have a general store here at the old mill, so we're going to take a quick look around that. What Dolly do? Huh. Before we look at the t-shirts, got to take a look at this bear's hanging on for dear life. But lots and lots of t-shirts. Get your great Smoky Mountain t-shirt on. This is what I need for work. Pencils with dad jokes. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. All right, from the mill, we've got catfish breading, hush puppy mix, seafood. We've got chicken breading, fried chicken breading, okra breading, fried green tomato breading, which I would really like. Pancake mix. Blueberry, Blueberry pancake, pancake mix. mix. Apple cinnamon pancake mix. And tons and tons of syrups. Pecan pralines. Oh, pecan pralines. We love those. Hey, peach cobbler syrup. That sounds yummy. Hot cinnamon apple syrup. Oh look, popcorn meal. Golden corn flour, so these are all our flours on this side. Oh, you can get a tub of bacon grease. Oh, we got a soup sampler. It's got that corn chowder, vegetable, broccoli cheddar, baked potato. But I wonder if they have just the corn chowder. Boom. Lots of pickled vegetables. All kinds of jellies. Nice honey. Ooh, we love some good honey. And there's some butter over there, including, hey, wait a minute. What is this? Hold on. Dark chocolate pecan honey butter. Oh my. Melt chocolate pecan honey butter. Blueberry pecan honey butter. Life is good. <laughs> Started to rain a little bit again. This is in the old mill district, which has lots of stores that you can walk around. We're in the rain, but we're still walking around. The pottery's here. There's a creamery, a distillery. There's this plaza that has a metal craft working spot, Andy Kitchen. Uh, just tons of little shops and stores. So we'll take a little rainy walk and see what we can find. Hey, if you be in at the old mill pottery house, cafe and grill, let me know. I might try this one next time. This is the place that's got those like igloo things outside. And look at this huge tree. It's all lit up. We need to come back at night so we can see how pretty it is. Okay, while we're showing you a view of the wheel here and the water coming down from the mill, just want to take a second and thank everybody for watching this video. If you haven't already, please take a couple of minutes and subscribe, share this, and hit that like button for us, please. Okay, I really enjoyed lunch today. Um, we're here again. We're at the Kitchen Four in Vision Four, it's the Old Mill Restaurant. Tell me, what were your thoughts? Everything I had was delicious, and even though everything was delicious, I probably could have had a giant bowl of that corn chowder, those fritters, and some mashed potatoes, and I would have been absolutely thrilled. But my fried chicken was so good; it was nice and tender on the outside. I mean, crispy on the outside. Nice and tender on the inside. I did try your chicken pot pie. I really liked the so crust. Good. And the chicken in there was so tender. Um, uh, we did not have dessert. We should have had dessert. That chocolate really good, cake was so But we so were good. so full. But I would highly recommend this restaurant if you're ever in Pigeon Forge. I will tell you what, whenever we're back in Pigeon Forge, we definitely will give it another try. All right, take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye. Join us next time as we visit the island in Pigeon Forge to experience the Sky Fly Soar America ride.